Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Hate on Joe, Collectible Chronicles. And today, what I got going on. So, I got a good bit of arcade went up to my room. You know, as you can see, you know, in the background, I got a lot on back there, just all over the room. And one of the issues I have is, is like, as it, with anybody who collects arcade one up stuff, they know it's space. So, I mean, you can only fit so many arcade machines in one room. I mean, it's a fact, you know what I'm saying? I didn't try it and try it and try to disprove this, you know, theory. I did everything I could. I didn't move cabinets sideways, front ways, anywhere, kind of where you could think of, like a, a living in a Rubik's Cube. I done done it. So, kind of had to face the fact that, you know, I ain't going to be able to add any more cabinets in my room. Even though I do got this space right here. Reserve for something coming soon. So, I got that going on. But, getting back to the point. So, yeah, you're going to ride a space soon. So, what I came to the conclusion of doing is, I got to go the multi-cab way. You know what I'm saying? It's the only thing I can come up with. So, what I decided to do was make my own custom arcade one up. And, how that went down was... I had a, you know, I had went Pac-Man crazy, you know, when I had first started this thing, you know what I'm saying? I didn't start like in the right in the beginning, but I kind of did, you know what I mean? So I had bought, I think my first, my first one was Pac-Man 40th edition. I think I had found it at a Walmart when I was at, um, in Myrtle Beach taking a little vacation. I had peeped it. So I just, you know, I copped it real quick, you know, threw it in the back of the car, tried to get it in there before my wife would even see it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, once I had bought that one, I think we came back from vacation, probably about maybe a month later, I ended up getting Miss Pac-Man. So, when I had Miss Pac-Man, you know, I'm going to tell you this too. All the while, while I'm copping these cabs, I didn't even, you know, have the house yet where I was going to put them in yet. I was putting them in storage in my son's garage. So, you know, it was kind of just stacking up. And with me buying them this way, there was no way that I know for sure that, you know, how they're going to fit. So then I want to say maybe a month after that, I bought Pac-Man Legacy. So all together, when I got my room and, you know, got in the house and everything, got my room set up, you know, I had three Pac-Man arcade went up. And I was like, this ain't going to work. Plus, one of my Pac-Man, um, the Pac-Man 40th edition, it hit the same games that Legacy had. But I kind of made... Pac-Man 40th edition obsolete. So, what I ended up doing, I ended up taking that Pac-Man cab, I ended up reskinning it, I ended up adding a Pandora's box to it, and I ended up adding a 24-inch Vizio TV to it. Plus, on top of that, I added a Logitech home theater system to it, you know, computer theater system to it for my sound. So, I'm going to show you that what I built, and, you know, Tell me what you think. I ended up doing a lot of different things to it. Uh, at first, you know, I had the original Pac-Man monitor that was in here. That was a horizontal screen. So I ended up changing that screen out to a 20-inch spectrum unit right here. But the problem with this screen was it had washout. So, you know, which if you're not familiar with the term of that, it's basically you look at the screen from different angles and the, the blacks look gray. You know, the picture quality is like trash when you look at it from the sides and stuff like that. So I ended up changing it out to this Vizio TV. This is, I think, a 22, 24-inch flat screen TV. So um, as you can tell, the difference is as far as real estate goes, um, that's how much real estate I gained from doing it. So, you know, that's pretty good, you know, as far as being the game. You, know, you, all, you really want the biggest screen you possibly get in a way. And, I mean, I, I wasn't going to go crazy with it, but I figured this right here wasn't too bad. So, as you can see, I kind of had to do some modification to the cap to make the screen fit. I wanted it to be flush like this, where when you look at it from the side, it's pretty much going straight in just like that. That's how I wanted it. So, it took me a while of finessing it, but... I got it the way I want it to be, straight like that. So my artwork, I got done from this lady. 
just saying, you know, she near my town or whatever in my city. You know, I got her to do it, you know, show us some local love. So what she ended up doing for me was I ended up doing, you know, I'm a huge Street Fighter fan. And I'm going to tell you how I'm going to power this cat, man, in a second. So pretty much I was going for, like, you know, Alpha. You know, if Arcade went up, was to make an Alpha cab or a Street Fighter Third Strike cab. That was pretty much the theme I was going for. So I did Chon Lee with her Alpha outfit on. You know what I'm saying? Because she's my favorite female character to play with on fighting games. On the riser, which I kept the riser. I did it as uh, Tekken X, which is Tekken versus Street Fighter characters on the side of it right there. Now, what I did differently was I made the riser and the side panel flush. So that way it's, it has a riser, but it's kind of like it doesn't. Um, what I also did right here. On the front of the riser, you know, I got Chon Lee on the front. And then on this side right here, I have Tekken characters. And then at the top, I got my girl Mai off of uh, SNK giving us a back shot. You know what I'm saying? So what I ended up doing was I hit the, I kind of hit the wide in the cabinet up to make it so that way it can fit the monitor in it. So, you know, I did my own custom wood. You know, I brought the level out and all that, measured everything up. I did brackets so that way the cabinet could be basically sitting like flush like this on top of the riser. So I used brackets for that, which I put in. I also did, um, I used wood glue. Well, actually, I used, uh, I don't know exactly what this is, heavy duty gorilla glue. I used that to glue my brackets to my wood so that way they won't come loose for any reason. Um, then I got them bolted in or whatever. That's my dog, sorry about that. I don't know why she making noise now. Um, so all this right here makes the the, uh, the cabinet pretty sturdy. Um, in the back, I have it where this TV is mounted on with a uh, wall mount. So that way you know, I can just pull these little strands right here and I can pretty much unsnap the TV and lift it up off the back if I ever have to do any like, you know, maintenance to it or if I'm trying to change something out. This TV is also a smart TV. So I can watch like YouTube, Disney, Netflix, whatever I want to watch on it. You know what I'm saying? Even though, I mean, you really want to do that with a cabinet, but you know, why not? I hid in the room pretty much on my wall over here. Um, I swapped it out. I'm going for a 32 inch is what I got against the wall. I'm going to go mark to the wall right there. So, I put this right there. All right, so to power this thing, what I'm doing, I'm not doing a um, a PC build or anything like that. You know, I kind of kept it simple because I'm not too technologically advanced. So, what I'm doing is I'm using a Pandora's box I got right here. And on this Pandora's box, you know, I got over 10,000 games. You know, I got uh, Aliens vs. Predator. I got The Simpsons. I got Ninja Turtles. You know, I got those two in here already. I got all my Street Fighters, my Alphas, my um, SNK uh, versus Street Fighter, you know, all that stuff right there. Um, it's just, just a whole bunch of games like the play I got on this right here. And like I said, it's pretty fun. And it gives me the ability to play all the games I want to play that Arcade One Up could possibly make or not make. And that way, you know, I don't really feel compelled to buy every single Arcade One Up they make. So this right here kind of keep my little FOMO down, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to see how it comes out. Like I said, I've been building this for a little while. Um, As far as the, the marquee goes and everything, I'm still working on that. But um, I do have this. So this is the marquee that I want to use. And, you know, you put it towards the light. It lights up like this. So what it is. It's the um, Capcom vs. SNK2. This is right here. used to be my favorite game back when I used to play at my homeboys back in Augusta. So, you know, we used to get we used to get trill on this right here, get drunk, and just play all night. So, I pretty much theme in the cabinet off of this one game, even though this one game isn't on the Pandora's box, unfortunately. So, with this space right here, you know, I got a black board I'm going to put right here. It's going to make it pretty much look like these. But what I'm going to do for the front of it is I got this artwork right here, also from Alpha. 
I'm going to put in the front of the cabinet like that. So that's pretty much how I'm going to have it hooked together like that. So it's going to be roughly, it's going to look something like, like this. And then when you put the Pandora's box on it, it's going to sit on here pretty much like that. So it's going to be kind of like that. And it's going to have, you know, the black piece to go right here that you see that's, you know, on these. It's going to have this piece right here. I already got that already pre-cut already. And then, like I said, you know, at the top, you know, I'm still working on my marquee I'm going to have up there. So, yeah. So hopefully, you know, it's not everything lines up pretty good and it works like I want it to. I'm going to have lights in the back of the cabinet. Um, I'm going to throw a Logitech theater system in there so that way I had a superb sound. So um, hopefully it comes out like I want it to. And stay tuned. Hopefully next, you know, couple videos I'll be finishing this thing. Uh, just tell me what you think. All right, so now I finished the part I was working on. I got the artwork in the front put on, on the kick plate. Also, I got the Pandora's box on now. I got it bolted on. I went through the inside, screwed in some, uh, I did like a pilot screw first, and then, you know, did my own wood screw to go through to bolt it up on the side of the cabinet. Did this side right here the same as that way. And then back here, I got it where I made enough space so that way I can still get to all my controls, my wires and everything because all the power connectors and light switches and all that right there, USB um, inputs are all in the back. So you gotta have this, kind of gotta have a gap pretty much for you to get your hand back at to be able to cut stuff on and off. Um, but yeah, so now I just gotta do the top part right here. I'm gonna put like a little, I'm gonna put some some artwork up here, and I'm gonna do my um my marquee for up here, my light up marquee. I'm gonna do. So that's where I am on the cabinet now. So like I say I think it's coming out pretty good so far. It looks pretty pretty good, I think. I mean, I say it's my first time making a cabinet, so you know which I didn't really make it from scratch, but I think it was a good use of the Pac-Man 40th edition that I wasn't using. Rather than me just taking it apart and putting the parts in a garage to make room for future cabinets, since I couldn't sell it, I decided to modify it. And I think it came out pretty good. And like I say, hopefully, and everything with it works like it's supposed to, let me make sure it do. Let me do a little power on. I think everything plugged up. That's the question. Did I plug it up? I don't even know if I did. So I'm going to redo this. All right, so I'm going to check to make sure everything working like it's supposed to work. So right here, I, you know, I got the cow. out. I got the uh, Pandora's box off. I switched to cutting it on and see if everything worked like it's supposed to work. All right, get the sound cut back up loud. So I think this, I think it's working like it's supposed to. Do a little long startup, but that's kind of how it always do, loading up everything. But as you see, everything's working like it's supposed to work. Uh, what I want to use, I want to play, uh, I'm going to just start a game just so that way to be something. I love this thing. I look how I got so many games on it. This is like, you know, cool. Aliens versus Predator. You know what I'm saying? The Punisher. You can't get no better than that. But, you know, I'm a Street Fighter fan, so, you know, I go straight for that all along. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ticking. There it go. There it go. I go for this right here. For that Street Fighter. Alpha 3. Oh, bring back so many memories. So that's my jam right there. So, 
Let's see how I do. Let's see how I do. Like I said, the sound is louder with this TV, but you wish to begin the game. Yep. The sound is louder with this TV, but I still could add a home theory system to it, a computer theory system to it. But um, I think it's good to go. You know what I'm saying? I think it's good to go. Yeah, so that's what I wanted right there. So I can play it. And you know, on a better screen. I don't have that wash out issue. You can look at it from different angles. The screen still look good. So that's exactly what I was going for while I went through all these changes. Just to get it like that. So, I'm almost done with it. 